The drafting technique is the best way to get featured on websites with huge readerships. Now before I share the step-by-step -step on how to actually use the drafting technique, let me give you a little backstory. What is drafting? In racing, like bicycle racing or NASCAR racing, you'll see a person in first place trailed by a person in second place. And that person in second place is on top of the person in first place. Why? Well, the person in second place is slipping into what's known as the slipstream. What is the slipstream? Well, since the person in first place is breaking all of the air friction, the person in second place is able to maintain the same speed as the person in first place while expending less fuel and less energy because the person in second place doesn't need to break the friction like the person in first place. So what does this have to do with getting featured on huge websites? It turns out that there's friction standing between you and getting featured on a huge website. But that's where the drafting technique comes in. It turns out that major websites have a link slipstream. So instead of breaking the friction yourself, you should seek out bloggers and journalists that have a history of covering stories for which you'd like to be featured. And you'll find it's much easier to get their attention because there's no friction. Why? because you're taking advantage of the link slipstream. But don't take my word for it, because a reader of mine, Casey, said this perfectly. Awesome crash course on PR, Derek. As a former local news producer, I'd add that in addition to keeping an eye on competitors in the news, stay on top of the news in general, especially current events related to your industry. Journalists are always looking for good sources and contacts. They will love getting sound bites and quotes from someone outside the typical press release that everyone else has. They even appreciate hearing pitches for different angles on big stories. Just be careful not to make it seem like you're only trying to get exposure for your business. Reporters know that's what you want, but making it obvious leaves a bad taste in their mouths. But now you're wondering, does this really work? The answer is yes. But you can't just reach out to journalists and say, hey, feature me. They'll ignore you in a second. Instead, you've got to cultivate a relationship with these people. How? Are you ready for this? Be helpful. Journalists and bloggers are underpaid and in many cases underappreciated. So anything you can do to make their life extremely easy will be A-OK -okay in their book. For example, you might stumble on a news story or a piece of research that you think a specific journalist will be interested in. All you gotta do is just send them a quick little email with a link to that article. And guess what? They'll be happy that you're helping them. But how does being helpful turn into press for your business or website? After you build up the relationship, that's when you hop into their link slipstream and you'll find it worked just as I said it worked. Over the years, I've used this exact technique to land major press on huge websites and a whole lot more. I've actually used this same technique to email influential people, people who are bombarded with emails, and I got a response within 24 hours. In fact, I've used this same tactic to get in touch with executives of a Fortune 100 company. But now, I want you to remember one thing. Be genuine. If you're trying to scam a journalist to getting some free press, they'll see right through you. Journalists are some of the most well-read people on the planet. And if you're trying to email an influential person with hopes of scamming some press or links from them, they'll see through your lies in just a few seconds. But right now, I wanna ask you a question. Do you think the drafting technique will work for your business? If yes, use it, get results, send me an email bragging about it. If not, send me an email telling me why you think it won't work for your business. I'd love to hear it. 